Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Body beat down here, Michael. Friday morning, just off the school bus. So, yesterday was interesting. A couple of reasons. One, uh, we signed uh, the papers for the guy to buy our house. And we got to be out by early, early. October and uh, unless we find something between now and then we're gonna go shack up with our two boys that we're gonna actually that we're getting the house with we're gonna shack up with them where they're at right now put our stuff in storage and uh, anyway and uh, we do have a couple of options on the table we're, we're looking at your regular homes uh, and then we're looking at uh, modular homes, mobile home. Uh, the one thing my wife wasn't really wanting, now she's okay with. Because her and my son went to look at them. And, uh, like one of the largest ones you can get, they fell in love with. So, uh, it's going to be either or. I know appreciation or depreciation and, you know, value and all that. I know how all that works. Same thing with cars. Same thing with anything. Almost. Hmm. Cars and homes. But. So, anyway. Got that going. And, uh. Also yesterday, extremely good workout. Please go watch my video, even though I'm going to tell you what I did. Go watch the video and support me. For months and months, probably a year or so. I don't know, months at least. Months, months. Months and months? Months. Months. I've been stuck at 455. On my deadlift 455 let me make sure I get all these numbers correct Mike keep it straight in your face here 455 and now finally got the 460 after forever of trying to get to 460 and I was pretty happy with that and I said I'm good I'm not really looking to go up any higher and kill myself trying to do that anymore mentally especially because it, it beats you down mentally. But my hands were giving out. Calluses and all that kind of stuff were killing me. And, uh... Uh, yeah. So I, I was at a point where I was like, you know what, 460, I'm good. And yesterday I was, I was deadlifting. And, uh... And after a couple of sets, I was like, hey, I've got this powder, Gold Bond, or whatever the heck it's called, you know, for like jock itch and stuff like that. So I was like, I wonder if that'll work on my hands. You know, people use chalk and different stuff. I don't know. I don't know what people use exactly. I thought, well, I'm going to go try that. And I put that on my hands. And I lifted that bar. I think I used it with 315 as I was working my way up to whatever I was going to go to. So I first used it, I think, at 315. And I was like, holy crap. This did not hurt whatsoever. And my hand, my hands are gripping that bar like, almost like glue. So I was like, holy smokes. Let's go up. So I eventually, instead of putting 460 or 465 back on the bar, I said, no, no, no. Instead of putting 460 on the bar and just trying to match a PR, I said, let's put 465 
Because if I pull this, I want to make sure I get a PR. Because it doesn't happen very often. Uh, with me, anyways, and deadlifts. So, put 465 on the bar, threw some chalk on my hands, chalk, <laughs> powder on my hands, and, uh, man, that bar went up like it was 405 pounds. Hands didn't hurt, nothing. Pulled that bar up. I even held it. Put it down. Instantly in my mind, I'm psyched up. I'm like, let's go for it. Let's do something else. So I stuck 2.5s on the ends, which got it up to 470. Put some powder on my hands. Got in position. And boom, I got 470. <laughs> I don't just do that. That's crazy. You know, it took me months and months and months and months to just go up five pounds from 455 to 460. It took months for me to do that. What seemed like a year. That's why I lose track. This, this is a long time. Just to go at five pounds. So you're telling me I go up 10 pounds in one day, one workout session? That lets you know that the training works. My methods work. Not gonna say it works for you, but it probably will. Elevated pulls, just a couple inches off the floor. Work them. Every deadlift day, work them. Make yourself get to that, make yourself do that extra heavy weight that you're maxing at. Make yourself do it every time. And then make yourself go above that. And make that your standard. And by the time you get used to doing these heavier weights elevated, by the time you put it, the weights on the floor where they, you know, where you do a normal deadlift, by the time you do that, you're going to pull it. I forgot to give credit to all the movements that I do that I believe have completely helped me get where I'm at. Number one, the elevated deadlift is definitely going to help you get stronger and get past those sticking points, 100%. Number two, heavy bent rows. People will watch me do, you know, anything over 250 is getting heavy. I've done three something. You know, I always like to get up in the threes. Even if it's for one bad rep, you're moving that muscle, you're moving that weight, you're taxing your body you're putting it through the stress and strain that your body has to go through in order to move heavy weights that's what I tell everybody I also want to give credit to the extremely heavy for me extremely heavy uh, barbell shrugs that I do when I go up to the 500s your body is getting used to that amount of weight being pulled because when you start pulling that kind of weight it's a shock to your system you know no matter how hard 200 pounds is for you to move that's nothing in comparison when you're lifting 500 plus and even just the short distance that you move your body for a shrug it's still putting that time under tension uh, even if you were to just pick the bar up and hold the weight static a static hold it's going to help because you're training your mind and your body to understand this heavy weight see anybody in the world females included can learn to move 200 pounds you can train your body to do 200 pounds in no time anybody especially a guy 
you should be doing 200 plus pounds on pretty much everything within a very short time my opinion but most people will never get over four and very few will get over five with stuff so doing those heavy shrugs is essential doing heavy bent rows essential doing elevated deadlifts essential and if you've not tried all that if you haven't pushed yourself to those limits you're missing out how many times if you go back if you go back a year go back whatever on my videos on my deadlift videos you're gonna hear me say I'm done guys I don't want to do no more I feel like I'm I feel like I'm at my stopping point I'm done I'm done I don't want to do it no more it's tough mentally it's tough on me physically it, you know it wears you down after a while how many times have I said that I'm done chasing a PR but yet yeah, here I am I got another PR 445 450 455 those were some tough moments and going from 455 going from 455 to 460 you would think I was trying to put 50 pounds on that bar instead of five it's crazy So where it stands right now with my three main lifts, I think we have four main lifts, but I'll leave that one out for now. My three main lifts, my max is deadlift 470. I have a failed attempt, even though it was a success, my son messed me up. Flat bench at 380. But I have a successful uh, a successful flat bench of 375. And I have a pretty, I would say, successful-ish enough squat at 365. So those are pretty decent numbers, I would say. My squat is always going to be weak. It's just the way it is. It's the way my, my structure is. Uh, I have no movement, really. And I don't have great movement. My back is garbage. My shoulder is garbage. So even holding the bar is ridiculously painful most every single time. So that's my numbers. I have it on video. You can go check everything. It's all legit. Whew. Well, I'm tired of holding this phone, guys. I just wanted to touch base with everyone on some stuff. And, uh, yeah. Whew. And uh, buckle up, guys, because it's going to be another super hot day. Hot, humid, disgusting. <sighs> hey, let's cut down more trees, shall we? <sighs> There's a topic. Anyway, guys, if you found something a little bit inspirational with my channel, which you should if you go and watch all the videos I got going on 2,000 videos on this channel. That includes uh, the shorts and re-upload of shorts. There's a, you know, a lot of videos. Go check them out. Get yourself a little inspiration to kick some butt. And uh, don't let age slow you down. Or keep you from it accomplishing things don't let life troubles don't let your finances don't let anything keep you from accomplishing your small goals in life no matter what they are all right Whew. like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me michael your extremely winded host I think I'm still coughing up powder. Anyway, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. 
We'll see y'all later. Look at that beautiful hot sun. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!